What's up, man? 25 Gamers, welcome to another great week, and we're having our Offensive Scheme of the Week kicking off here, and uh, guys, I really cannot wait to get into this one. This is one of my favorite schemes to break down, and uh, this week's Scheme of the Week comes from the Green Bay Packers playbook, and our base play comes from the Shotgun Doubles Flex Wing, and we like to use the Bengals for this scheme. You can use the Niners or the Seahawks also, but I like the Bengals for their defense, and the 3-5 defense we're going to be breaking down this week is going to be really good for you. So, uh, base play, guys, is pretty simple. Uh, obviously, you can set your audibles up the way, however which way you want to do that, but what I like to do is I like to come out in the play, play action read, but I know that I'm going to run the halfback dive probably 95% of the time. Okay, so my main base play, my main base play from this is actually the halfback dive. So I audible down, and you see that I have the halfback dive, and we like that play a lot because it's an easy way to just, you know, if they come out, maybe something like this. So we talked about this uh, last week, but the idea of spreading out. If they come out and spread out, try to set up some pressure. You say, screw you, I'm running halfback dive, and you're gonna run halfback dive probably 35 percent of the for percent of the game so over the course of the game you're probably going to run this at least 10 to 15 times it's just a really good run for some reason um this year i mean last year it was a little bit better but this year it does it still does a good job especially on next gen uh at just giving you some nice holes to run through that that fullback does a really good job of of, of really uh hammering up in there and kind of being a personal protector for the back so it's just a really great play like that so that is that play, and um, you know we love the halfback dive. And I want to show you another play as well, passing wise. So, like, so we come out in the PA read. Now, what's going to happen is this is the same play action off of the run. Okay, now you see that. Now you just saw we had a man beater over the top to that deep inverted post route. That post route is really effective. And so what I like to do with this, and you see on the right, it's already on a fade. Okay, so we can user catch this on the right, um, or we could throw a pick. Well. Off coverage is what I'm saying. So, like, what we would do is this. So, say they're in a cover three, okay, just to kind of give you an example. So, they're in a cover three, okay? So, you're out here, and we want them to baseline. Uh, anyway, so what we would do to set this play up is all we would do is wheel Gresham, okay? That's all we would have to do. Now, they're off coverage. You say, okay, screw you. I'm throwing a fade, and I'm going to use her catch, and I'm going to be fine with that. I'm going to be fine with a guy like A.J. Green dropping that because most of the time he'll catch that football. Um, obviously, you know, nothing to 100%, but most of the time he will do that. Okay, so that's, what's, that's what we're going to do if they're in off cover. Let me show you what happens if they're actually in a purple zone. So say say they throw this safety into a purple zone or a curl flat zone. You're going to just pass this up just a little bit more. The play action is going to suck him down. It's very nice, and we can hit that fade. Now, the next step is to be uh, what if they're in, what if they're not in a cover three? What if they're in a two men under or a man blitz or whatever? Well, that's where this route comes in right here. This little crossing route. I don't know what happened there. Earl Thomas says, screw you. But a uh, little crossing route does a good job if they don't shade it in. I think I actually accidentally called a uh, called the wrong play that I wanted to show this to you. Because normally what's going to happen is Earl Thomas isn't going to be covering him. Normally it's going to be a linebacker. And so there you see it right there. You see how that beats man. Very nice. Uh, that beats man. Now, if it's not open, don't throw the ball, okay? Don't throw the ball. What you want to do is you want to say, okay, that's not open. They may have shaded. Now I can hit Marvin Jones way over the top with that nice inverted post route. And that's how you beat cover uh, cover two. Now let's show you how to – or cover two main under. Now let's show you how to beat cover two, like cover two zone, okay? That little uh, route to – ah, stupid – defensive lineman. This little route to Sanu is going to do a nice job at holding down the zones so that we can hit um, so that we can hit Marvin Jones over the top. I got to shit a tackle and throw a dart over the top of the building. But, uh, you know, that's what that's going to be for. Uh, let me run you through the gauntlet here. A couple other plays you have here. The slot cross. What you can do is put, like, Marvin Jones on a slant, motion him in. You can do stuff like that. Uh, you know, obviously... One thing I also like to do, because they're going to be so committed to the run, is something like this. So it's like a double screen, like a wheel. So like you would take AJ Green and you would put him on like a drag, something like this is what you could do. And then you could take like Gresham, put him on like a flat, and then just roll out, be a design, roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out, and then throw the ball upfield to Bernard. Something like that. 
Go crazy with this formation, guys. This is a really fun formation to use. It's got a lot of versatility. There's a lot of things that you can do, a lot of things that I can't cover in one video. But, guys, I'm telling you right now, the halfback dive in combination with all the other things we can do passing-wise is really going to give our opponent fits. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about how we like to run the ball even more so uh, from this formation. we got one specific set that gives us a nice three-headed rushing attack. Can't wait to break that down. It's going to build off of what we're talking about today. So be sure to come back tomorrow for that video.